On uh, Friday, March the 27th at St. Mary's Armenian Apostolic Church's Tufayan Hall in Livingston, New Jersey, there was a NATO of reading and remembrance as members of the community assembled and read Dr. Haran Markarian's new book, The Martyred Armenian Raiders. Der Heir Arakel Vartazarian, pastor of St. Mary's Armenian Church, gave a grand welcome to guest speaker Dr. Markarian, highlighting the playwright's numerous achievements and noting his record for writing and directing the largest number of Armenian plays in the diaspora, as well as presenting them in off-Broadway productions. Please welcome now our lovely Professor Harant Markarian. Taking the stage, Dr. Markarian presented his newest book, The Martyred Armenian Writers, and explained that it included the works of 13 Armenian writers murdered during the Armenian Genocide. The book is divided into three parts, the writers, written works, background of Armenian history, and accounts of the genocide itself. All of these parts work in tandem to give more context and gravity to the written works within. The introduction was concluded by a video message from Mrs. Heranush Hagopian, Minister of Diaspora of the Republic of Armenia, which was a great honor indeed, and speaking at length about the book's virtue, Mrs. Heranush Hagopian praised it as a way to bring awareness to the world about the Armenian Genocide. Dr. Markarian, at each presentation of the book, gives passages to the local people of the community to read, and this time was no different. Participating in the reading of the book were Mrs. Linda Aras Berenson, Samantha Burgraf, Daniel J. Seta Aras Shahinian, Yetvart Edi Stambulian. The group collectively recited Rupen Sevag's Here We Come. At the end, Linda read Markarian's A Candlelit Poem, which is the epilogue of the book. And following the program, Dr. Markarian said, I'm glad that four of the presenters at this event were U.S.-born youth and the fifth a native of Canada. The most satisfactory feeling I had was in addition to the superbly attentive and receptive audience, all of the participants enthusiastically came and said they will read the entire book to familiarize themselves with these master writers and that they will donate it to the public and college libraries in their areas. I felt that the candle I referred to in my poem is burning bright. I sincerely thank Father Arakel Vartazarian for planning this presentation. The first printing of the book is sold out. The second printing is on the market. Anyone interested in to purchase the book can get in touch with Libra 6 Productions, Inc., 160 Waters Edge, Congress, New York, 10920. The price of the book is $25, which includes shipping and handling within the USA. For email, libra 6 productionsc at yahoo.com. There were 40 of us in an underground ditch. Like a herd of horrified cattle persecuted by the blows of a howling sandstorm, huddled together and trembling in fear, like animals, not tired yet of destroying fertile fields and villages. Sleep calmly, and when you milk 40 cows, let your pails be filled with silvery milk and golden cream. Let a handful of grain fall on our heads. Now, we, uh, in the book also, we, we talk about the route that the martyrs took, and here it is. They started out, the 253 of them, uh, on April 23rd, someone, even sometimes before that, they started out in Istanbul or Constantinople. They were taken to Nicomedia or Izmit, from Izmit to Bilecik, from Bilecik to Eskishehir. From Eskishehir, they were divided into two groups. One group was taken to Ayash where the majority of the prisoners were, and the second group were taken to Chambri, where Tanya Barujan, Rupen Sebak, 
and the rest were there. Now, let's, if when we show this like to others, this is not only that we talk about 153 of them, but in actuality, multiply that, multiply that, take all the dots, connect the dots, and you'll get one and a half million Armenians massacred. And some people don't call it genocide. Um, they were taken to the sea, dumped in Black Sea, some taken to the Mediterranean, and others were taken to the desert of Derzor. Now, in Derzor, this is what Derzor looks like in the summertime, in August. You can imagine how these people walked through. You can imagine what the nation looked like after that. You can imagine what the land was. It was barren. So, what we did, we lamented. We lamented for our death. We pray, we beseech God for help. We immortalize them by building the Tzidem Nagapirt. We bowed our heads to the death. But we felt that there was a flame. Their spirits never died in actuality. I mean, they were there. They were there because even Varujan, Tanya Varujan, the last one of the last poems that he wrote, he talked about the rise of the crimson dawn. He actually saw the future generations coming, you people who lived on after the genocide. And the other poet, the youngest of them, Ruben Sebak, who died at the age of 30, 31, he too saw that. He too saw the hope and the belief in the future. Because that's what we are. We survived the genocide. And they looked up and they saw, they saw that all the generations are going to come. The new generations are going to come. And here they come. The massacre. A black day. That day, all the stars dripped poison. Lament. Lament, you unhappy mothers and brides in misery. Abandon your laments to the stars and lament the slaughtered dawns of this gloomy land. Let your eyes dry by weeping on the fallen thousands. This is the last cry. Let your tormented femininity be crushed in its weakness. One more sigh. One more teardrop. It is the last one. This is the end. Because I see new beginnings in your wombs. New children will be born. In their obscurity, they will shape the path for the lions of tomorrow. Their eyes, smaller than yours, will look up to the flood of brighter rays of the stars. Embracing the essence of existence, they wander and grow in the ruins of a future heritage. Bidigamkin, Keresmani Mechivin. Mohanam Per Herum, Herum Agnabish, Pidis Basin, Barta Herer Kalustin, Arshal Wissim, Arshal Wissim, Volun Havadati in my hair. Yes, Bon Matina Garden. Aha, make who 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 all have a martyr in our souls and it is that martyr